Good to see y'all. Let's see, wait for people to jump in my chat room. We are live. It's Friday. It's hanging out. Got some stuff that I wanted to go over. Got a package in the mail. What's up, Cajun? Good to see you, bud. First one in the in the chat. Got the uh, notification just went out. I think at least on my computer it did. You doing all right, Cajun? Close this down. Got three people on here. What's up, everybody? Say hi. So I got a package. I'm here to unbox. Oh, Dustin. Dustin, you want me? Do you want uh, me to send you the link so you can jump on here? I don't know if you want to or not. But I got a package in the mail that I wanted to unbox. Um, I was tagged by Jeff Morgan with Flippin' Profits uh, for 19 questions. So I was going to answer those questions. I need to pull those questions up. Let's see here. Uh, Cajun, do you know where I can find those questions? Hold on. Let's see here. Dustin and I were um, texting back and forth about the new Tesla. Tesla truck. The Tesla truck that just came out. I really like it. He does not like it. Cajun reseller said that he's ready. He says he's doing good. What's up, Brandon? I didn't say hi to you. You doing okay? Good to see you, bud. Arkansas. We'll see. I think they're uh, underdogs. UT's an underdog, and um, hopefully they can. Uh, hopefully they can win tomorrow. We gotta, we gotta find the list of questions. Profit. I think it was on his last live stream. So let's see here. On his. Okay, yeah, there are the questions. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Now I'm supposed to tag three people at the end of me answering these questions. So I don't know. Am I gonna tag people? We'll see. Dust, Dustin says he does not like the new Tesla truck. Has it, did everybody see the new Tesla truck? Let me uh, let me know if you guys like it or not. I would love to, to know if you guys like the new Tesla truck. Can you hear me okay? I hope you can. So uh, he love he, they love the new tes, Tesla truck. What's up, thrift store gold? I got the package ready to open it up. I wish I could like take a screenshot so people can see that I'm live with the new package. Like, uh, what is it? One of those? Um, what am I trying to say? Clickbait video, like got new package. You know, I love those click clickbait video uh, thumbnails. Case your reseller says Tesla is a waste of money. He said, "Uh oh, okay." Jennifer, good to see you. Good to see you. Chris's Chris's treasure chest. Good to see you, Chris. Just here, we got a. I got some stuff that I want to go over. Uh, I got a package that I want to unbox. I got the 19 questions that uh, Jeff from Flipping Profit uh, um, tagged me in that I'm going to answer. And I want to talk about Black Friday to see if it's worth going out, fighting the crowds, and uh, see if you can get some good deals. Not only, but personally, but see if you can get some good deals for. Um, Retail Arby, retail arbitrage, see if we can flip stuff. So uh, Family Flips is in the house. Good to see y'all. Thrift Store Gold, we hear you good. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, skipping here. Okay, 20 subs away from 500. Yes, we're 20 subs away from 500. At the 500 uh, sub mark, uh, we are doing an interview with the flipper's wife. Dustin and I are going to be interviewing my wife and his wife, my sister. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Dustin says, Tesla is the future. Pinto, don't at me. Future Pinto, don't at me. <laughs> they don't like it. Got a lot of hate. Got a lot of hate. I feel like 
if they decided to reboot Back to the Future, they need to use that car for the DeLorean. I'm just saying. I am an I'm a truck guy and I don't like the truck. A lot of hate. A lot of hate on the truck. I like it. I like it. Uh, Chris, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Haven't checked it out yet. I like the truck, guys. I like it. I'm just saying. It's the I think it's the future of trucks. Is the design? Is it the design that you guys don't like? I don't know. So, bef so before uh, I get started unboxing this, uh, I got this today, guys. Check this out. Got a new Funko Pop. I really like this new Funko Pop. Get it out of the ring light. Sorry. There we go. Now, this is a um, quick backstory with this Funko Pop. It is, I got it. It's a Target exclusive Star Wars Funko Pop. It's a Darth Vader, but it is a collaboration with a street, um, street artist named Futura. Now, Futura is one of my favorite artists I have. He does, he did a couple other collaborations in the past with some uh, streetwear brands. Um, Actually, he did a uh, collaboration with Nike back in the day for some Nike dunks that I actually have that I love. So uh, he's doing collabs with uh, with Funko and Star Wars. So this is the second in the line. I missed out on the first one. Um, the first one was a Boba Fett, and then I think they're coming out with an R2-D2, C-3PO, and a Jawa. So I don't know if you guys can see all the details, but like the pop itself is like – I'm trying to get – I'm trying to get it so you guys don't see the, the glare and the light there. But it's the graffiti that he kind of makes, you know, like in his art. So, um, and it comes with, it came with this um, this hard case. So I think they're, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Boba Fett one, but I still want to get it just so I can have the whole series. But the, uh, the R2-D2 and the C-3PO are absolutely super sick the the colors came on them so i don't know if you guys i'm gonna get it a little closer so you can see kind of like the graffiti you know like on on it but big star wars fan i haven't watched this week's episode of the mandalorian so i'm gonna wait for my wife to come home so we can watch it together i know dustin and my sister bianca has already seen it bianca has already been texting saying that it's absolutely awesome so i can't wait to watch it today so Let's get back to the chat a little bit. It says, uh, KJ Rizzo said, it's not a truck. How can anybody hate on it? It's amazing. That's what I'm saying. It's amazing. Uh, Bluegrass Picker says, it looks like a Mad Max truck. That's what I said, too. If um, the DeLorean and Mad Max had, like, a baby truck, that's what it would look like. It says it's bulletproof. Uh, he comes with a pot protector. Yeah, it's like a hard stack protector, so it's pretty cool. Um, I am your father, Dustin says. Um, the cool thing about that is um, it re the, the pop released maybe three weeks ago, and I missed, I missed it. And uh, I, I'm in this uh, Funko Pop Facebook group where, you know, we kind of like share different things, and a guy had found it at the um, – a target near me, not my hometown target, but the one near me. And uh, he hid it behind like a Lego box. So when I went to go pick it up, it was still there. So I got lucky. And there was a Popeye's chicken close by that target. So I stopped by. I got one of those chicken sandwiches. I let my sister-in-law try it. I tried it. I got an extra one for my wife. When she comes home, she can try it. It's pretty good, guys. I don't know if it's as good as Chick-fil-A. I got to try them like next to each other, but I'm a little like, I don't know. Cause I love Chick-fil-A. It's the Lord's chicken. I hate the customer service at Popeye's, but that chicken sandwich is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So, um, my wife just texted me and she said, what did you get for dinner? So I'll, I'll text her later. So let's get back. Has anybody, has any of y'all had the new chicken sandwich? Let me know what you guys think. Um, awesome pop. Thank you, Chris. Baby Yoda, Dustin says. Baby Yoda. Mm. I know the merch, the Baby Yoda merch is supposed to be coming out. So, yeah. 
Uh, Thrift Store Gold says, crush that like button. Is that what we're going with? Is the crush the like button? Martin, did you get my message? Let me know if you got my message. Uh, so um, let's unbox this sucker, right? Let's do this. All right. So if you don't know, on Thrift Store Gold's channel, make sure you su subscribe to Thrift, Thrift Store Gold. Make sure you subscribe to their channel and their new channel. So if somebody were, if somebody wants to drop the link to their new channel, please do so. We, on their channel, they have a, what do you call it? It was one of those, um, I can't remember what the name of the toy is called, but uh, I don't see how it fits in this little box, so I'm going to figure it out. But Bert is a hippopotamus, so we're taking turns, different uh, YouTubers. I think um, Mac from Mac Had It Last, and uh, he sent it to me, so we're supposed to be... Um, Doing doing stuff with Bert, Dustin, and I put them in videos. Take you know, show them around the city of Nashville, making new friends. You never know. So we're gonna open this sucker up. I got I don't have a knife, but I do have this hook screw. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna do it off camera, just so. I guess this is the top, but I don't want to show anybody's address. So that's why I'm doing it a little bit off camera. Am I supposed to keep this box? Let me know. If not, I can just get another flat rate box. Ooh, dang, it did fit in here. As you can see, got the little hippo in there. Let's see what the <laughs> Dustin's. That's so funny. He says Dustin's not a mod. Dustin doesn't get on these things as much, so you know he's not. You know, but Dustin, I'll make you a mod. Popeyes is the bomb. It's from Louisiana. True, 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 true. So I hear Chick Fil A has some stand outstanding customer service. Chris, do you know how to have a Chick Fil A in Canada? That's my, that's messed up. They need uh, the Lord's chicken needs to be everywhere. Says okay. Reading the message now. It's called the bouncer. Okay. Blow it up, blow it up. All right, old snap. It's Bert. Got Bert. Look at that. All right, all right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Got Bert. Look how flat he is. Bert, what happened to you, brother? Look at you. Get a hold of yourself, Bert. Let's see what else is in this box. Did you put treats in this box, Mac? Got a little book here. Oh, his little bandana. Get something to blow them up. Let's see what's in this book. Let's see here. Look at that little book. It says, See the World. Am I supposed to read this? Oh, look at that. It's got instructions on how, how to blow bird up. I know. Where did you get these instructions? Bouncy. Okay. The rules. There's rules? This is really official. I know Martin didn't do this. Follow the instructions on how to pump him up. We even taped a picture for with the diagram with Bert and see it, and for you to use. He likes to keep his shapely figure. So make sure you don't pump him up too much. Show him a good time around your hometown. You want to see the coolest places around. It must be shipped out within two weeks. I guess I shouldn't be reading this to everybody, right? I don't know. We want pictures, 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 and more. Post them on Facebook groups and then DM them over to us. Notebook is yours to create in it. You can use the top five page, but up to five pages. But don't, okay, finally take care of him as your own hippo. All righty. Looks like um, you have really pretty handwriting there, Martin. Oh. Oh, look at these pictures. Look at that. I like this. It's so fancy. Oh, and this is a – oh, it's like a little journal, Mac. Okay. Mac, did you put pictures in here too? Mac didn't put any pictures, but he posted them on Facebook. So let's get back to the chat a little bit here. Let's see. Let's see. All right. No, keep the box. Okay, we'll keep the box. And uh, oh, snap, it's Bert. 
Burt. They opened their first one this summer in downtown Toronto. Okay, take a Definitely, definitely not in CA. There's not any um, Chick Fil A's in California. That's messed up. So it sounds like we need to open up a Chick Fil A in Canada. Sounds like great investment opportunity for everyone. It does. And my wife is calling. Let me answer this real quick. Hey, babe. Hey, what's up? Hey, I am currently on a live. So, yeah, you're. They can't hear you though. I don't think. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Love you. She says hi, everybody. All right. All right. All right. Yes, Dustin, we need to get on that. We can use all of our eBay money to open up a Chick-fil-A in Canada. Google. What is Google? I know what Google is, but why would you type down Google? After Store Goals is an awesome channel. They are an awesome channel. Two of the most funniest people that I know. Um, thank you, Bluegrass Picker. Draw Burt in the book. Might have to. Uh, third piece says to Dustin, we opened the first one. The first Jubilee, what is Jubilee, in Toronto, Filipino fried chicken restaurant. Okay, thank you. There are three hours lineup and three straight months. A second Chick-fil-A location should be well. Yes. Thank you, Cajun. Cajun, I need to make you a – oh, you are a mod. Okay, cool. Tacos with Bert? Maybe. All right. Let's blow Bert up. Let's see here. Where's that diagram? Right here. A little. Do I need a screwdriver with this? Remove the pin before beginning the inflate. Oh, okay. Is there a pin in here? I don't think there's a pin. Is there a pin in here? No, I don't think there's a pin. So we're going to blow this birch. Give him life. Does this look weird on camera? I don't know. I feel awkward. Ooh. Keep reading. Let's see here. Oh, insert the pump and strong pump in the row. Push put the pin inside once. Is there a pin? I don't see a pin in here. I don't think there's a pin in here. Is it in the box? Oh, is that it? Don't see a pin in there, but it looks like he's blowing up. Is there supposed to be a pin? Might be in the bag. What kind of, oh, this, yeah, it's in here. All right, all right. So we're going to leave that. There's the pin right there. We're going to leave that there for right now. We'll blow the sucker up. Oh, man. I do not like doing this. I'm trying not to. I'm, I'm trying to hide my arm. It's a weird motion. We blow bird up. Oh, yeah, Bert. You're getting thick. It's getting thick. Oh. Oh, it's moving my computer around. Bert's too thick. All right. Dustin Michael can jump on this thing. Here's going out. I need the pin. Ah, there we go. Use this little bandana. This little, this little gang bandana. Bring to the gang.
Look at that. Look at Bert. He's here. Welcome to Nashville, Bert. Shout out to Bert. Hold on. We'll put him back here. Oh, I'm getting caught. Can you fit on there, Bert? There we go. Shout out to Bert. I used to be able to hear myself in this one. Hello? Okay. All right. Let's get back to the chat here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I've been missing a lot here. <laughs> Just ignore the wife. Can't ignore her, man. Can't do that. This is a uh -huh. I love the shirt, Ray. You like my Seinfeld shirt? I got it at Walmart. Paid full price. $7.99. Just keep reading. Serenity now. This might be in the in the bag. Sorry, got a text. Uh might be in the bag. Got it. it says this is you really quickly. Yes, it did. Uh it, Serenity now. I love it. So let's see what Dustin said. I feel like I'm in school again. When you, when you got to take home the class stuffed animal for the weekend and I wrote the journal of everything you and the class stuffed animal. Yeah, um, mine was a, um, I think Bianca had like a baby, you know, like those babies in like econ economics class and you have to take home and they had like batteries and stuff. When I, that was after my time, but we had a, we had a, um, what was it? A bag of flour that we had to take care of. So, hey, man. Hey, Jonathan. Good to see you, brother. Uh, is this the kid's channel? This is not a kid's channel. This is a reseller channel. Reseller channel. As for reselling channels, we are going to add another reseller into the mix. Our What's boy, up? Jeff. Jeff, can you hear me? Yeah, man. What's up, brother? What's up, y'all? It's Dustin from the you, Nashville man. Flippers. Glad up. to be here. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Jeff, good to see you, man. Glad you jump on, jumped on. I know Jeff was the one that nominated uh, nominated me in the 19 questions. So, Jeff, I got your questions pulled up. I want oh, yeah. to answer them. You came just in time. Awesome. So, right now, I'm going through the comments. Mm -hmm. So, uh, LOL, Bluegrass. Uh, Bert, did you see Bert back here? Is that Bert Chrysler from, from Thrift Store's channel? What's that? Is that Bert Chrysler? No, Bert Chrysler. <laughs> you must. Bert be. needs a, a last name. A... Should we get Bert a last name? That's a reference to something else. My bad. <laughs> oh, okay. But we should. I feel like we need to um, give Bert a last name. Hey, fill me so in. We'll What's the backstory that? on Bert? I'm um, Bert. So the backstory on Bert. Bert was found in the Goodwill bins. Wow. Thrift store gold. Martin and Christina found Bert in the Goodwill bins. Bert has been a guest on their live streams. I, right? I'm remembering that. And now, yeah. And now, Bert is going around from place to place. Oh Jesus! Seeing different locations. Right? Yeah. Now he's now we're all taking turns taking care of Bert. <laughs> it's Dustin and I's turn. And um, yeah. I think I'm gonna leave Bert right here for right now. So Dustin and I are trying to show him around the city. We would go get some hot chicken, go to the Parthenon, uh, maybe go to like a Predators game or a Titans game. You know, we're gonna show Bert a good time. He might get a tattoo. You never it's know. Like that uh, that parenthood thing where you carry the egg around, make sure you don't. That's break what Dust. That's what Dustin was saying. But we're gonna show Bert a good time. You know, he might. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> so that's He's what the photo time. album is for. You're gonna add your yeah. own photos and your own memoir. Yeah, it's gonna be like uh, the Hangover, but like uh, Bert. Oh God, and got you. you know? Right. Awesome. So, so let's see what else is going on in the chat. It says uh. Bert was like, Bert was just letting out a little gas. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a. I think I need to pump him up a little more. 
<laughs> like his buddy Finn. Yeah. So yeah. So did I tell you the backstory? Yeah. Okay. Let's, oh, Victoria, he's her, she's here. Adventures in reselling. Victoria, good to see you. Adam, good to see you, brother. This is uh, lay back in the chair and talk. Ooh, like this. <laughs> oh, I showed you. Um, I, I think I have to take my headphones off of this. So as you saw in my last um, video with my sister-in-law, Courtney, I got this gaming chair right here, oh. and it goes back really far. So, like, I can, like, sleep. Whoa. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Can you see me? Yeah, be careful with that. Yeah. So I can lay back down like this and go to sleep. But I don't see how you can do gaming. I don't know why it goes back this far. The monitor on the ceiling, man. I guess. I don't know. I feel like I'm in the dentist. <laughs> you have a dentist that has like a TVs and stuff? No, nah, or not like on the ceiling, but yeah, in the corner. Well, yeah. So, all right. So, Christina, Christina here. Now, that was great. Okay. Hello. Well, it got all that on IG story. Haha. Uh -huh. Ooh. Man, I hate that um, it goes um, real quick when you're going through the comments, you know? Right. Because I'm kidding. Dustin, he says, we need to take Bert to one of the – we need to take Bert to one of our backs and take him into Gimme 5. Maybe strap a camera onto him and call, call it the Bert Cam. That's a great idea, Dustin. I like that idea. How's your day been, Jeff? Pretty good. Same old, same old. Yeah, I heard that. Pumping Bert with Bert with the right. Yeah, man, you should see me pumping this thing up. It looks super awkward. Yeah, you definitely need a Bert cam. Yeah. Say so no last name, LOL. Ooh, kind of like uh, The Undertaker, where The Undertaker is from places unknown. Huh. Maybe Bert Tid. What is. I know it's your last name, Martin, but I, I, I don't want to mispronounce it. Tiddleman, is that right? Tiedemann? Is that right, Jeff? Tiedemann? Tiedemann, that's it. Bertrand. Wild, I guess. Yeah. Bertrand. He's a toy hippo. No tattoos. Oh, I was going to give him a uh, – he kind of has a little bit of a tattoo. Yeah, he's already. got a little splash. He's got a little splash. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's got Why a little does it back like that? I don't who know. That's so weird. Who had him yeah. before you? And he's got like a little bit of a like a leg thing going on. Like he's what have y'all been doing to Bert, man? He stepped in something. <laughs> so this is uh take Bert to give me five. Hi Adam. Oh man, it went it went down again real quick. Oh hi Adam. So someone might buy Bert by him. Yeah, someone may buy Bert. Yeah, it'd be uh, messed up. You sent him to a reseller and they put him on eBay. Right, they're like, "Oh, this is uh, I can sell this." Old school picker, good to see you. Hey, you never know. Oh, after, you the, after you pass it around a bunch and get that photo album filled up, might be worth something. That's right. I think I do. do I, I feel like I may have to sanitize Bert. I don't <laughs> know where he's been. You know what I mean? Uh, Christoph, following me. Haha. <laughs> What's up? Good to see y'all. Oh man, it did it again. Uh, Chris, lol. I was here first, Marie. Good to see you. So, Marie, are you referencing me to the other Chris? LOL. T-da-man. 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 Okay. So, we're going to go through the 19 questions. I don't know if you've – I don't know where this started. Do you know where it started, um, Jeff? I got it. Dizzy Angie tagged me, and she got tagged by Gemini Thrift. So, don't know okay. who started it. I don't know. But it's a cool yeah, idea. So so yeah, Jeff. Jeff actually had uh, he answered his questions yesterday, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday on his channel live stream. If anybody wants to drop that link down, that would be great. Yeah, I'm too professional um, for that. Yeah. So I'm gonna answer my 19, 19 questions, personal questions. At the end, I'm supposed to tag somebody, so be prepared. Like, hey, uh, can I throw out an idea? Yeah, man. Go I for got it. him pulled up. How about I ask him to? Oh, look at you, man. Look at you. That would be that's great. You want to give me the first one? 
You ready right now? I'm ready, man. Let's do this. All right, let's get I haven't going. even looked at them, so I don't even know what all the all questions right, cool. are. Looking at them blind. Um, number one, what does your channel name mean? The Nashville Flippers. And then Dustin, you can um, you can answer too if you want to put them down in the chat. Um, but the channel means it's the Nashville Flippers. We live in Nashville. We live in a suburb of Nashville. We're like uh, 20 minutes away, and um, yeah, we like to flip stuff on eBay. So it was pretty. It was pretty simple. Um, I'm I'm just glad that um, it wasn't taken up on YouTube when we wanted to start a YouTube channel. Right. You know, so we got lucky. Huh. You ready for number two? Number two. Where okay. were you yeah. born? I was born in La Piedra, Michoacan, Mexico. Oh, snap. Way down there. Say that again? La, La Piedra is the town. And then the state is called Michoacan. Huh. And then uh, in Mexico. Right. So that and I moved here when I was uh, a little boy. So ne next question. Next question number three. Next hey, question. Man, let, hey, I don't know how long you want to rattle off on these things. Oh yeah, man. Okay, so I'll let, I'll let oh, you know. Good. I appreciate that. Yeah. I like making things up. And if anybody, uh, if, if anybody uh, wants to uh, comment, let us know. Put it down there. <laughs> Put it down there. All right, number three. Where are you now? Where am I now? I don't know why I'm asking these questions like this. I'm gonna chill out and talk yeah. normal. <laughs> no, man, you're good. I like it. Where am I now? We, I live uh, in a suburb of Nashville, 20 minutes away. Sweet. Yeah, that so, kind of. That's where I am. Yeah, goes with the channel name too. So that sounded fancy. Almost answered it's it. It's not as fancy as you think it is. The way you said it. La piedra, Michigan, yeah. Mexico. Is that how you? Say with an accent. Is I that think... what you? Think? When you met yeah. your wife, that's what you let her know, and she just fell I'll out. Right that. Exactly. That's what Got it is. The knees. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bert might learn Spanish um, by the time he's uh, he's leaving Nashville. Huh. That would be awesome. Thrift, okay. Thriftbeast says he's from Earth. I know Thriftbeast did. Didn't you do yours today, Thrift? I missed it. Yeah, he did his. I need his to go back. I need to go back. Old school picker, are you? Do you live close to Nashville? You said the borough. It's not the. It's not Murfreesboro. I live in uh, Hendersonville. So, you ready for number four? Number uh, Dustin says number three on my on my couch is where I'm at. <laughs> Dustin, you feeling better, bro? I know Dustin uh, had a, um, a stomach bug on Sunday. He was puking and pooping. Yeah, man, there's been so stuff going around right here too. Yeah, nope. I think he got it from his son. So, huh. next question, Jeff. All right, number four is: What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite sex? That's a tough. I don't know. One. I know that is a tough one. It's so weird. I know my sister's name. My sister's name is Bianca. She's younger than me, and her middle name is Estella, which is my mom's name. And I was named after my mother. Or after my father and my grandfather, so I would imagine that um, I would be named after my mother. So maybe Estelle, maybe I don't know. Hmm. That would be my guess. Dustin, what would what would you be? Would you be Kaylin? Because that's Dustin's sister's name. Yeah, I don't like pondering on that question too long. Yeah, it's weird, <laughs> right? I mean, nowadays. Not that there's any, not that there's anything yeah. wrong with that, right? It makes me feel Seinfeld, weird. Seinfeld reference. Um, <laughs> we don't know who to tag. Okay, well you can't tag me because Jeff tagged me. Uh, old school picker says he's 50 miles north of Chattanooga. Dustin actually went to school in Chattanooga. He is a graduate from UTC, UT uh, Chattanooga, the Mox. Mm -hmm. Dustin says, go Mox. Shay, I know that um, my wife and I have discussed it, and they, she says she really likes the name Ray for a girl. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe if you want to have a girl, her name will be Ray. I knew or a Thrifty says Ray. Ray What's that? I knew a couple girls Ray. named Ray growing up. Yeah? Okay. I like that. Hello, Chris. 
So you sound close to Dustin. Dustin's my brother-in-law. He's um, he is the other member of the Nashville Flippers. That uh, I'm actually doing this at home. We usually do our live streams together, so we just can link up. Uh, Deborah, Debbie, for short. So your name would be Deborah, Dustin. How did you did you, have you discussed that with your parents? That's a little. Yeah, they tell you that. Funny. Yeah. This is where we're going to tag you. You can still tag me. Go ahead and tag it on the uh, the video if you want to film it. Does Dustin have any brothers or sisters? He has one younger sister named Kaylin. Younger. How old is Kaylin? She's like uh, 29, 29, close to 30, 25, something like that. So You see that though, question. like uh, only child, their parents always had either or name ready. You know what I mean? Mm. So maybe that's why he knows. But you're not, you're not an only child, right? Uh, yeah. On my dad's side, but no, my mom. I'm the youngest of four on my mom's side, so. Okay. They all With got a baby dad, and I got a different dad. That's how that works. Okay. <laughs> Number five is, what is your eye color? My eye color is brown. Pretty simple. That's, pretty, that's a weird question, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, right what is your eye color? Right after the opposite sex question, like, come on. Right. I'll tell you what, though, a lot of people use those contacts, so maybe it's um, different for some people. Hey, let us know. You know what, what I mean? Eye color. Let us know. Is Bert's eyes? Ooh, um, I, you can't look at them for too long because then you yeah. will fall in love. He's It'll very be. dreamy. They're they look like um, they're black, but they look like they have a little bit of glitter. Huh? The paint was a little glittery. I stared at them too long. I know you can't. It's like Medusa. Yeah. What were we doing? Let's see here. Let me go to the let me go to the chat for a little bit. Uh, let's see. Home of T.O. Yeah, that's right. Terrell Owens did go to um, UT Chattanooga. Uh, Christina Tag Duncan. D Duncan call. Good call, Victoria. Uh, Dustin. LOL. She says Kaylin's twenty five. Bianca, my sister, she's twenty five. Um, brown. Brown. Dustin's color, eye color is brown. <laughs> Jeff, those Jordans you found were fresh. I can't, I was gonna watch. I was gonna. I have. I didn't watch the whole video. I didn't get to that part. But it looks like you found some Jordan nines, some Jordan sixes, and then some Jordan one mids. That's right. You're so right. You I had those I Jordan have. nine. Go ahead. I had those Jordan nines. Um, that exact colorway. I used to wear them with my Titans jersey because, you know, they had the little baby blue on there. Uh huh. I wonder if they ever made, like, his baseball cleat because, you know, that is like a – that's when he wore when he played baseball. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Crazy. No, I is that Jordan that. 9? So, let's see here. Bianca says, the fact that you're rubbing Bert's ear is making me <laughs> I can't wait to Michael to play with this. Michael is my nephew. Running, running, birds here. She's rubbing. Hello, really? at Bianca. Next question, Jeffrey. All right. Before Bert got me distracted, we were at number six. Yeah, here's a good one for you. What is your favorite candle scent? Oh, I don't know. My favorite candle scent, Courtney. Um, I like like. Uh, I don't know. I know. Whatever my whatever my wife buys that smells good. <laughs> I like that one. What does that one smell like, Court? What is that? It smells good. It smells good. Smells good. Uh, uh, I don't know. They have these. They're coming out with really weird candle scents nowadays. Have you seen that? Yeah. All these fusions and stuff. Yeah, but I'm talking about like strange candle scents. Yeah, like, uh, somebody was telling me about monkey fart the other night. So no, that's not a thing, is it? Really, I mean, it's strange. Yeah, they said it's in their living room. They don't know why it's still there, but <clears throat> or is it there? Somebody there just their farts smell like monkey farts. Nah, it's that's insane. the name of the candle. It's monkey fart, but it smells good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just relaying. What did you stuff. What did you say for that? Um, honestly, <laughs> it's a dumb man. No. Nah. Um, my girlfriend brought back like a little souvenir from California one time. Uh, it's called Bays, I think, or Bays or something. It's a candle that DJ Khaled was promoting on Snapchat, but it smells amazing. DJ Khaled promoted candles? Yeah, like whenever he, 
whenever he'd be on his Snapchat, he'd be like, you got to burn these bays. And he would be showing videos all the time ahead and burning those candles. So when she was there, she happened to see one and grabbed one. And they do smell amazing. Just saying. And to be honest, that's the, like, when I thought about it, when I read that and I thought about it, I was like, yeah, it's the best smelling candle I've ever smelled. So DJ Khaled knows what he's talking about. DJ Khaled needs to eat a salad. (laughs) Um, I'm going to share my screen right quick. I just Googled uh, 12 crazy um, candle scents. Yes. Go for it. So share. All right. Can you see that, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. So 12 candles to make your house smell totally bizarre. Number one, (coughs) bacon. Number two, pizza. wonder what kind of pizza. Urinal cake? Urinal. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's crazy. Does it uh come pre-soaked or you do that yourself? Hope Dreams Loves by Yankee Candle. Hmm. I know Dustin found a candle last uh week at Gimme Five and I think he was gonna give it to his mother for uh for Christmas. Thanks for giving it away. I know she doesn't watch this anyway. I (laughs) I don't think. Poop shaped but chocolate scented. What do you think about that? Let's burn it. Mantown. Is this real? Look at this. They're watching basketball. On the- what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this? Beer? I like that. Buy it on eBay. Hot wigs. Strippers. Huh. What does that smell like? The strippers. It smells like um it smells like menthol cigarettes. Well, see, I wouldn't know what that smells like, right? Eh? <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to say anything else. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Ice cream. I like that. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon, lettuce. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Well, I mean, they then take the bread. No, I'm just kidding. I like how they have them all separate. Yeah. You light them all up together. <laughs> I do love a good BLT. Fart candle. Fart candle. There you go. Man canal. What's that say? Where does it say? Oh, man candle. I thought I said man canal. That didn't sound good. The newsprint. New York huh. Times. That's interesting. Times New. That's, is that all of them? That is all. Like okay. Yeah, that, out, of, out of this one, I think um, Mantown. Mantown. Mantown would be my. F- no, I don't want anything to smell like man. Um. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with a basic like um, mahogany, leather, tobacco, like a vanilla tobacco smell. Some of that vanilla bean. Yeah, you know, like something like that. So Dustin said, pumpkin spice just like my lattes. Dustin is a a, a low-key visco girl. What about that uh, eulyptus? How do you say it? Eulyptus? There it is, yeah. Oh, I like that. I have... um, you know, Justin and I have these fancy beards, so we have to make sure we moisturize them. I don't know if you put any beard oil in your beard. A little bit. A little bit. I know the one that I have right now is uh, citrus and mint. And I, yeah. That was amazing. I love it. So um, <laughs> they make candles like bacon and farts because people buy them. Yeah, that's true. Khaled voice, another scent. Another <laughs> scent. Finn dark, fit, Finn Dark candles. Oh my God. Thin fart candles. That's probably what you need. Yeah. See, there yeah. it is. Um, heck yeah. Bacon scent it says if it's on Google, it has to be real. That's true. This is keep your man card and go with a bacon and, or beer for sure. This everything on the internet is real, right? Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. I might get you that stripper candle for Christmas, Dustin. So next. Question. Just give him the BLT. It's the same. BLT. Thing. No, he, he might want to try to eat it. It's the same as the stripper one. <laughs> stripper smell like menthol cigarettes, spam, <laughs> and dirty money. That's what they smell like. What if you really did buy both of them and they smell the same? Ooh. That wouldn't hmm. be bad. So what, what number are we on right now? We're on, that was number six. The next number one would six. be number seven. Number seven. You ready? Yes, sir. Can you cook? No. I mean, I don't I don't hate to cook. I wouldn't say that I'm a good cook. 
but my wife does all the cooking. She's, a, I like her cooking. She does a lot of baking. Huh? Sorry. The oh, lighting in my room is messing around. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like if I tried to cook, I would be a good cook. But um, I know that my brother-in-law just informed me yesterday that uh, we're supposed to cook for my wife and his wife sometime next week. And I didn't necessarily sign up for that. Sometime. You mean maybe on Thursday? Yeah. I uh, know, right? I don't know. No. no, he said, oh, is that next week? Or the yeah. week after Thanksgiving, Court? Or we're supposed to cook for y'all? Yeah. Sorry, my sister-in-law is like off camera over here, sitting on the couch, watching Spider-Man. So, yeah. So, can I cook? I think I could cook if I wanted to, but I have no need to because my wife likes to cook. And she's a good cook. And that's why I weigh 250 pounds. And, I and then I exercise on a consistent basis. So she likes to cook. So next question. Number eight, what is your uh, astrological sign? I am a Virgo. Virgo. Yeah. Water boy reference. I don't like confrontation because I'm a Virgo. <laughs> my mama said... <laughs> One of my favorite, one of my favorite movies. Let's see. Let me. I'm gonna go through the chat a little bit here. Let's see here. It says some of those diamonds and lace strippers from Chat Town. LOL. Oh, okay. Does the spaghetti count? If so, yes. Dustin loves some spaghetti. Huh. I spaghetti is my least favorite food, Jeff. Yeah, I'm not too big on it. I feel like it all tastes the same. Yeah. You know what I mean. I'm more of a uh, chicken spaghetti guy with some Alfredo sauce. Okay. Yeah, if I had to choose, I think I would go for that over just traditional spaghetti. Yeah. There's yeah. a um, like a deli store around here. They make like a Cajun chicken spaghetti. Man, mm. it's really good. It does sound good. I need to go down there and check that out. Oh, Cajun dropped the link to your video, the Air Jordan video. Oh, sweet. Thanks, what did man. you say? What did you say um, uh, that was going to be – how much you were going to make off of those? I didn't see the video, so how much did you get them for? How um, much were they going for? Yeah, I paid 70 for three pairs of them, and one pair was going for around 45 50 – or no, it was 55 50 to 55 another pair around 100 And then the ones you were talking about, uh, they were selling for around 200 Yeah, they're not – they're it, in really good condition. I got mine listed for around 190 so – I know that I know the issue with those Air Jordans on the midsole, the paint that they use tends to crack over time. So a lot of shoe restorers they paint it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what uh, did it have any kind of cracking or peeling. Um, which ones are you talking about? All the, of them? the blue ones. The blue ones? No, they were those were actually the ones in the best condition. Oh, that's great. They're in real good condition. That's awesome. Um, all of them except for the gray ones. Or yeah, all of them. They're the white ones and the, or the let's see, the nines and the I don't know them as good as you. The nines are the nine. the baseball ones, the, the right. baby blue ones. The white ones that you had with the red on them, those are the sixes. Right, and then the other ones are the one Jordan one mid. The Jordan ones, yeah. So yeah, the nines and the sixes. Um, sorry, I forgot why I was bringing that up. Why we were you were saying the, the crack? Yeah, the crack. crack. Uh, no, nah, they were in pretty good condition. Yeah. The Air Jordan 6s were actually the first shoe that Michael Jordan uh, won a championship in. Huh. Yeah. You, you know too much about them than me. <laughs> I'm Jordan. I mean, I'm a big Jordan guy, and I yeah. like the, the shoes. So. If it wasn't for the number under the tongue, I'd be out of luck. <laughs> yeah. So I know they make um, they make a shoe, like a merger shoe called the Six Rings, to where they take, you know, because Michael Jordan won six championships. They take elements out of each of his those six shoes that he won and make one shoe together, and it's hideous. It's it's terrible looking. So I know for the Jordans, the ones that you want to look out for whenever you guys are uh, reselling for shoes or looking to source for shoes are the ones that actually Michael Jordan wore um, when he played basketball and the actual colors that uh, that were on the shoe when he played basketball. And um, I know that um, unless it's like an exclusive or something fancy like Travis Scott ones or yeah. something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, Waterboy is an awesome movie. One of my favorites. Yeah. Gatorade. We were just watching um, 
Courtney's watching Spider Man. I you know John uh, Farvo or Fairview. Fairview. You know what I'm talking about? He plays Happy in the Avengers movies. You know he's like um, uh, Iron Iron Man. Tony Stark's like right hand man. But he, uh, you remember that movie he was in, The Replacements? Oh, um, maybe think nah. of because it's a football movie. But no, nah. yeah, hadn't seen it. <laughs> this is, uh, you've never seen The Replacements no. with um, with uh, Keanu Reeves, who's the quarterback? I have, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Thrifty says, You're making me hungry now, Jeff. Okay, oh, uh, Old School Picker says, Just remember Captain Insano shows no mercy. Shows no mercy. <laughs> Who plays Captain Insano in that movie? Was it a wrestler? I can't remember. Anyways, uh, that's a neat idea, though. Join six in one chew. Yeah, it is a neat idea, but they they're they're, they're terrible at it. Yeah, um, I know they did another like merger shoe called the Spizike, which is each shoe that Spike Lee did commercials for. They merged those together and did a shoe, which wow. is not as bad as the six rings, but uh, it's still pretty bad. And um, what other merger? Sh what other shoe did they put together? They did a like a Air Jordan Air Force One Fusion back when I was in yeah. high school. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, some of those are bad. <laughs> so uh, old school picker says the Big Show. That's right, the Big Show. The, Paul, yeah, the Big Show. He's supposed to have a uh, reality show on Netflix pretty soon. So that's exciting. So, all right, Jeff, next question, my friend. Let's see. I believe we were on number nine. Yeah, number nine. What do you fear about getting older? What do I fear about getting older? Dustin, if you want to answer this too, let me know. What do I feel fear about getting older? What did you say? Losing time. Losing time. Right. You Same feel like you're losing a lot of time when getting older? No, not right now. I just mean like when I get old and, you know, can't move as fast and you're going to lose time, you know, stuff's going to go by so much faster. Oh, okay. What do That's I fear? I mean. See, I'm thinking about like what I fear about getting older is not being able to pass or pass on any knowledge that I might have to other people. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's like I'm an old man and uh, I have all this knowledge and I can't pass it on to people. Hmm. Maybe that's why I kind of, why I started doing this YouTube thing. But I, was I was just going to say. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I like sharing stuff with people. Yeah. You know, if they can help in any kind of way. So not being able to share any knowledge to people is what I fear getting older. Right. So, Victoria, what did you say? I know that you answered yours. I forgot what you said. Dustin says pain. Pain. By by the time we're older, I mean, I could be like 95% robot. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't think I'll, we got much to worry about. No. You know, I mean, Elon Musk has a truck that can pull an F-150, an electric truck that can pull an F-150 now. So, I mean... Maybe we'll live in some sort of artificial reality, like the Matrix. Or maybe we're in the Matrix now. I don't know. The Terminator. Right, Bert? Yeah. What's the John, I can't think of his name, in the Terminator. Um, the guy he's looking for, John something. I can't remember. Never mind. Stupid reference. No. No, no it's a good reference. <laughs> Why am I drawing a blank? It's one of my favorite yeah, movies. No. I keep wanting to say something. What's the kid's name, Courtney? That's not. In the Terminator? John. John Connor. John. Oh, Connor. Connor. What's his name? What's his name? Kim oh, Timmy. Bluegrass Picker says, not utilizing my time correctly. I think that's, you know, we all wonder that because, you know, that's the one resource that we can never get back is time. You know what I mean? Right. It's so weird because it's like, you know, when you go to your nine to five, they're not paying you for the job that you do. They're paying you for the your time. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So Dustin said, the older we get, the wiser we become. We become more like Yoda. 
Can you say that sentence in the Yoda in the Yoda phrase, Jeff? Uh, like Yoda, we become. Ooh. <laughs> Dysfunction erectile. <laughs> oh man, uh, John Connor doesn't say this. Connor, Connor, Connor. He says I don't remember my exact answer. Other than that, my fear is death. Is that I won't be around to know what's happening in my loved ones' lives. Huh. Yes. It's hardcore. That is hardcore. You'll still be around. It's far out. You'll be around. You can see him from up above. You know? Or you can be a ghost. You gonna stay around and haunt your people? Me? Nah. Yeah. I ain't, got, ain't nobody got time for that. Stay Bert, around with Bert. Me and Bert. Me and Bert got things to do. <laughs> Uh, more like Yoda we become. That's it. More like Yoda. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the next question there, Jeff? Number ten. Um, what is the last thing you bought? A chicken sandwich from Popeyes. No kidding. Yep. Super First time. Fun. Really? First time. Yeah. Oh, man. I was um, I was uh, at a Target because I picked up this uh, pop behind me. I don't think you saw it. I'll show it to you. Special edition. Oh, it's a special edition uh, Darth Vader. It's wow. a um, it's a collab with Futura, which is a uh, graffiti artist, huh. and it comes in like a, a stack box already. So I picked that up at Target, and there was a Popeyes close by, so I picked up one of them chicken sandwiches. Yeah, and it's pretty good. Yeah. And I don't really, I mean, and I'm a hardcore Chick-fil-A guy, too. I mean, right. more chicken. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't really, I mean, I don't know. I think it's just because it's new, and it is pretty damn good. It's yeah, pretty good, know. man. I'm not going to lie. Like, I didn't want it to be good. And I was talking to my sister-in-law, and she's like, I don't know, Ray. It's pretty good. And I bought two of them, one sitting in the refrigerator for my wife. So I think I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A and Popeye's, do a blind taste test, and then go to a blind taste test. Go ahead, yeah, man. And pick up I might do it out here. Do a few, pick up a few other chicken sandwiches just for comparison. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, good one. Like, uh, like McChicken. What else should I get? Right. They got a Wendy's chicken sandwich. Okay. They got a Sonic chicken sandwich. Okay. I'll do the. I'll do that for sure. I know that. Um, the thing I like the Chick Fil A. I like the tomatoes and the lettuce that they put on their spices. Mm. The lots. Sometimes I splurge and I tell them add bacon and some provolone cheese. That sounds good. All right, change the subject. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, now you know what's real bad? Like I live in Louisiana, and in the town that I'm in, all of the Popeyes we have, like I guess whoever owns them, I don't know what the deal is. They did not participate. I I have never seen anybody in my town that's, with a chicken sandwich. We've been having that's what I'm saying. like out of town. They never had them though. Like I. That's they didn't sell it out. They just never pretend. I don't know what's wrong with them. They never, it's horrible. See, that's what I'm saying. Like Popeyes, like the customer service. Yeah. Like I'm big on customer service. I'm all about customer service. Isn't it hilarious that it's the complete polar opposites of chicken? It's the polar opposite. It's the polar opposite. They literally like, have a separate order. Now. It's so bad. Popeyes freak uh, outs. <laughs> it's like, so it's great. Like the lady didn't even say thank you. <laughs> You know, it's, they got my, know. they got my order wrong for sure. One time, I had to go back because they don't care. I get it. I yeah. get it. So, hey guys, what's up? What's up, Drew? Good to see you. Didn't you tag Drew on uh, the nineteen questions? Yeah, sure did. What's up, man? Oh, Drew, you have to answer these questions, bro. Drew. Oh, oh <laughs> Doctor Pepper. <Patrick. laughs> I'm losing my spot here. Uh, Jeff, we're rocking that car heart. You know what's was up? It thrifted? Yep. The hat wasn't, but the uh, shirt was. Really? That's nice. I saw that they're doing, I think Chevy has a car heart truck that's coming out. You uh -huh. heard about this? No. Uh -uh. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Car heart's big. Uh, what up, Profit Monsters? Good to see you. Drew, I tagged you on my video on the 19 questions. That's Ray's answering. You got to do it now. Two people just tagged you and Drew. Yep, I tagged you too. Leader of Coke and Dr. Pepper for a work Thanksgiving lunch. Not too excited. What? Leader I don't of know what's work. going on. 
I don't know what's going on with that. It's like, could be better, could be worse. I believe we're figure. Thank you for for everyday sales. Okay, Dr. Pepper is great, Dustin. It's my favorite of the pops. Pop. Uh, have you noticed that the Coca Cola and the Sprite taste different at McDonald's than everywhere else? Yeah, they have like their own, like their own thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their own little different syrup concoction. Hmm. Or, or you know what I've heard it is? It's the ice. If you notice between different restaurants, they always have different shaped ice, and there's something uh -huh. with the way it, it distributes through the uh, <clears throat> through the carbonations and the fusations and all that different stuff. No way, that's well, crazy. It's the ice. Hmm. Look into it, Eddie Bravo. It's the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Bravo. It says, in order to compare the sandwiches, you can't add stuff like tomatoes. Uh, yeah, it can't be making the... So they all have to be, like, the same. Like, what about the sauce? Original. Well, I mean, I think, does Chick-fil-A have a spicy chicken sandwich, too? Yeah, but it's the chicken that's spicy. Right. Well, I mean, hey, you just got to... And then the, Popeye's and, just the at sauce. Popeye's, it's a sauce that makes it spicy. So, what area of Louisiana are you in, Jeff? Occasionally, um, some Monroe, Northeast. Monroe. Area. So I'm in construction as a full time job, and I love Carhartt. Two liters were my last purchase. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh exactly. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's a so, super exciting. Next night. question oh. you take the Coca Cola and you take the Dr. Pepper and mix it together. Now we got 24 flavors. What's up? What's up? All right. <laughs> Uh, number 11, what is your favorite holiday? This is hard because I know that everybody says Christmas. Christmas is nice. What did you say, Jeff? I said Christmas. My birthday is five days before Christmas. So. Oh, okay. I know. I know. Um, Victoria, what did you say? I think she said Christmas too. Thrift Beast <laughs> said Christmas. See, Fun row. I, I want to say Christmas, but I really like the 4th of July. Yeah, right. I I think because I just have really good memories of like the summertime, like growing up, and like around the Fourth of July. You know, because I know growing up, I always played football, and that week of the Fourth of July was like our dead week where we couldn't practice because it was mm. so hot, and so we would always like I don't know, like do stuff that was really fun, and I don't know, I just like the Fourth of July. You know, here in Nashville, we go to the uh, Hot Chicken Festival every Fourth of July. Mm. I would have to say the 4th of July. That's a good Made answer. Up in Made up in mind. 4th of July. What's Bert's favorite holiday? Bert likes um, Thanksgiving. <laughs> he likes to eat. <laughs> he likes to eat. Thanksgiving for sure. Yeah, Cajun reseller said he's went Fun to row. Tech. Oh, okay. Monroe. Is Funroe the actual, like, is that what it's called? No, it's. Monroe, but yeah, they call it Fun Row. It's it's not very fun. It's not. Okay, it's not. <laughs> is that like a thing? That's just their tourist attraction. They want you to stop thinking it's cool, but not. Oh, L.A. Tech though. I'm pretty sure Louisiana Tech. That's in Rust, and that's only about 30, 45 minutes away from my house. So. Oh, that's cool. That's not far at all. It says Christmas is my favorite, but Fourth of July is fantastic because of the Hot Chicken Festival. We love our hot chicken festival. <clears throat> huh. So for sure. So I don't know yeah, if I can handle the heat. Dude, it's it's I bet it's hot down there in Louisiana. I know it gets hot up here. Nah, the um hot Nashville chicken. I don't know. Oh. Well next time you come up, if if your uh uh girlfriend, soon to be fiance, soon to be wife, decides to come up here for work. Right. You know, we can hang out. For sure. Eat some hot chicken. For sure. You know? Let's see here. Bert likes Festivus. Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> Other Seinfeld reference. Let's see how many Seinfeld references we can do on this live stream. Huh. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <clears throat> it says and Bert gonna... is a fan of National Hippo Day. Is that a thing? I bet yeah. it is. I, so. I bet it is. You know that hippos murder a lot of people every day every day well they're out well, there in the streets they're is out that there. what's going on with the gun violence 
<laughs> Don't you see this bandana? <laughs> so what's the, is that? Damn, we're on the same. What's up, Bert? I didn't know we were repping the same. The same. The same yeah. plan. So whoop. National. <laughs> National Hippo Day is February 15th. Wow. That could be Bert's birthday. Who's going to have Bert when it's Hippo Day? I don't know. Um, hey, you need to find a, a Hungry Hungry Hippo game and play and take a picture of Bert playing Hungry Put it in there. <laughs> Tina and Martin, if you're still on the live stream, let us know who's going to have Bert on February 15th. <laughs> National Hippo Day. Huh. So... I'm gonna take a selfie with Bert. We need to document this. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get the. Let's see if I can get you guys in this. Let me put this down. Bert's first live, not first live stream, but a live stream. <laughs> Good one, Jeff. All right, Bert. Let's see here. Where we at? It says there is a day for everything. There sure is. Uh, yes, there is, Dustin. You know, I feel like there's like, yeah, 50 National Donut Days. There needs to be more. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so we have this place here in Nashville called Five Daughters Donut. <laughs> Five Daughters Donuts, okay? This place is the best. They have the best donuts. Because they're almost like pastries. They're like 100-layer donuts. Wow. Dude, they're so good. They're like $3 a piece or $5 Man. a piece. Yeah. Five? How much are they, Court? $3.95 for a donut. Hey, so is it $5 donuts? Five, five daughters. Why, why is it five daughters? I think the person had five daughters – or something like that. I don't, I don't know, know why I ask these dumb questions, but I just... No, they're great questions. What, That's what something is, people would ask. It made me laugh. Casey says he's in the Baton Rouge right now. Baton Rouge. I was just down in Baton Rouge like uh, a week or two ago. You LSU fan too, Jeff? Um, I'm just not a, like I'm not really a big sports fan. Just a motocross mm -hmm. fan. All right. But um, but if I'm rooting for somebody, yeah, it's the home, home peeps. They're the, uh, are they still number one? Yeah, man, they'd be killing. Cool. Be yeah, killing. I don't even know. I'm disrespecting my state so hard right now. It's all right. <laughs> Let's you have a good football team. Hey, the Titans are going to win this week. They're playing the Jacksonville Jaguars, 3 o'clock at here, home. Maybe Bert, maybe Bert will get to go. We never know. He's a big time. We're gonna make him a big Titans fan. So ever eating king cake, king cake, king cake is the um, that's the cake with the baby in it, right? Right. See, as as someone that's from Mexico, Mexican tradition is that on Christmas we get a king's cake because most most Mexicans are Roman Catholic, right? So I think that's where it kind of comes from, right? The king's cake, and so on Christmas. We get a king's cake and then we cut it, and then whoever gets the baby, baby Jesus, gets like good luck. And I think they have to buy the cake like next year or whatever. Right. Let me know, Dustin and Bianca, if you're still on the live stream. I don't remember how it necessarily goes, but um, all the king cake that I've eaten, I don't necessarily like the cake. It's real dry. So yeah. I don't know if Louisiana they have like a better king's cake, or maybe it's just around here. Nobody really knows how to make it. It's like super cinnamon roll type cake. Yeah. Or Mardi Gras sprinkles on top. Exactly. You know, and the king cake here, you have to get it like in a Mexican bakery because nobody else is really buying them around oh. here, you know? So, so Thrift Bee says, go sports. Go sports. <laughs> go sports. Uh, just make sure Bird doesn't wear an Orioles hat in the owner's box. Another Seinfeld reference. You didn't, you didn't catch that, did you? No. No, okay. I Good it. one. Good one. Good one, Chris. I got that. So, um, next question, Jeff. Next what question. This is a good one. What is uh, number 12? What is your guilty pleasure? What did you say? Um, Minecraft. Minecraft? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Do you understand what the question is, though? No. It means like. 
um, if you enjoy a type of music or a particular program, like a TV show, but you're a little too ashamed to admit that you listen to it or watch it to your friends. Oh, gotcha. That's what it means. All right. What did Victoria say? Victoria, what did you say? Um, I don't know. I mean, I really don't have like, I mean, I like professional wrestling, but it's like, I'm not ashamed of it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, I like Star Wars. Not ashamed of that. I'm not into anime. I would be ashamed of that. I like Pokemon, but I'm not ashamed of that. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe food? I don't know. Yeah. Another one for me was a podcast. <clears throat> podcast? Yeah. You listen to a lot of podcasts? Right. Some pretty juicy. Is Rogan your favorite one? No, not really. I used to listen to him a lot. Um, there's certain people that come on I listen to, but... Um, yeah, Which he one would like the, He introduced me to podcasts. I actually like stumbled across his. Um, he's. I don't know if I think he still does have the website JoeRogan.net. Like whenever he did like episode four of his podcast, I was like seventeen or something, and I used to listen to like the very first ones, and then I like lost interest. Years later, it's this huge thing, and I'm like, oh, I know that, and I started listening. Oh, to that's it. funny. Yeah. Yeah. I think I know what my guilty pleasure is. And it kind of has to do with wrestling. I like to watch the show Total Divas. Total Divas. Which is kind of like a like an E network show. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like a real housewife y kind of thing. But it's with all the women wrestlers. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I guess I could I'm not ashamed to tell people that I watch it, but I guess yeah. that would be like the most guilty pleasure thing that I have. So Huh. So uh, Dustin says, if we're getting, if you get the baby Jesus, you host a party and have the next tamales a week later. Okay, huh. to make tamales. I answered eating candy because I'm diabetic and shouldn't eat it. Yeah, Victoria, don't eat that. Shame on you. Says, Bravo, <laughs> thanks to the wife. Drama is ridiculous. Bravo. Bravo. That's Dustin guilty prep huh. on you. Thanks to the wife. Is that a show? Thanks to the wife. Or are you just saying thanks to the wife? I don't think that's a show. But then again, uh, I'm I guess I don't know what it was really. Yeah. So Nashville. No, I mean, not the Kardashians. What about Glow? Did you like that? Uh, gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling? Yeah, the Netflix show. I saw the, um, I saw the first season. I really enjoyed it, but I haven't gotten to the second season. There's a third season now. There's a third season? Man, yeah. But I liked it. I did yeah. like it. The the backstory of it, you know, because it's like a real thing. Right. They have a, there's a documentary on there too. Real, I haven't about seen that real, either. about the real girls and stuff. I watched it. I later. just I just watched um, you know the the toys that made us uh, yeah. series yeah. on there. They just had one with the uh, the wrestling toys. Yeah. So, I need to go, yeah, I saw they it had new episodes. I haven't looked. Yeah. At it. So, for sure. Uh, um, I was close enough. You were really close, Cajun. What did you say, Cajun? Oh, Nashville watches the Kardashians. Yeah, I was close. You were close. It says Bravo is the channel. Okay. Thanks to the wife, Bianca. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. Just Total Divas is my, my, uh, I would say that. Total Divas. My sister says he likes watching the reality shows on Rich Housewives. Yeah. So, oh, all good. right. Jeff. Next question. What we got, Jeff? All right. The next one would be number 13. What show do you binge watch? Oh. What show did I just binge watch? I mean, uh, Seinfeld. Yeah. I watch a lot of Seinfeld. And then The Office. I'm always watching The Office. Because yeah. I know they're fixing to pull it off. Hmm. Uh, Netflix, so I'm trying to get it in. And um, I like watching um, Shark Tank. The Prophet, have you seen that? Marcus uh, Lamont. I feel like I remember seeing the previews, but no. It's pretty good. The Prophet is good, and then um, what did I say? What else do I watch on my lunch break sometimes? Oh, American Pickers. Yeah. 
you know. But the office is right now. Like, if I have time, I'll, we'll just put it on. Something easy to watch. It's hilarious. Right. You know? Dustin right. has never watched The Office. I told Dustin. Well, I, I, I meant to tell you this, Dustin. I feel like in our videos, we need to have, like, the uh, talking head segments, like, in The Office, like, in our videos. Wouldn't that be funny? I feel like that would be funny. You know, like, when they do, like, the cutaways and it's just, like, them talking to the camera? Right. Oh, I yeah, got I feel like that would be funny. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a little bit of the show. I, I'm not too big familiar on that show either. It's it's so good. Yeah, it is. Every time I've seen it, though, it is pretty. Funny. It's you would love it. Yeah. So, uh, have you gotten Disney Plus yet? Heck yeah. Well, someone that I know that could be my brother-in-law <laughs> has it, and he might have let me use his login information. Just throwing that out there. But again, they've already seen Mandalorian, the, the episode that came out today. I'm waiting for my wife to get home so we can watch it together because she would be mad if I watched it without her. So, yeah, Disney Plus is a go. I really enjoyed it. We've been watching uh, Smart Guy. You remember oh. that show that used to come on the Disney Channel? Oh. We've been watching a lot of that. So huh. we enjoyed it. Oh, Dustin, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Son of Anarchy, Son of Anarchy slash The Mayans. Breaking Bad, I mean, I haven't – that's the first show that I could say that we really binge-watched, my wife and I. And then we were trying to binge-watch – we did binge, binge – I can't say it – binge-watch the last season before the movie came out, like the uh, the El Camino movie with Jesse Pinkman. Did you see that? Uh, I don't think I watched it. No? Eh, not a big fan of the movie, but I love the show. Yeah. So, let's go to the next question. Dustin said they're watching. Number 14, what item do you never leave the house without? I mean, what would you say? Yeah, I said my yeah. wallet, actually. Your wallet? Yeah. Okay. I think I've left the house without my wallet before I would leave my cell phone. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, I can pay for stuff on my cell phone. Yeah. You know, like if I need to go get gas or... Do stuff like I can still use my money, right? If you know, so hmm. my cell phone. What did you say, Victoria? To the cell phone. What's the next question, Jeff? Um, are you an evening person or a morning person? That's hard. What did you say? I said a morning I know person. That's morning person yeah mostly just because like that's when i feel most energetic and stuff like that but here's the thing i feel like i'm more productive in the morning right but i feel like i'm more creative at night yeah does that make sense yeah like i yeah, know i feel the same way it's hard hard to pick like if i need to do work like when i go to work i'd rather go to work early right be really productive or if i need to do like ebay stuff I do all the stuff that in the morning, or I like to do it in the morning if I have a chance. Yeah. But at, at night, if I need to edit or be a little more creative, if I want to paint, draw, or design, then do it at night. Right. So 50 50. Dustin says my pants. He never leaves without his pants. Victoria, oh, that's right. You did say your purse because it has your cell phone and insulin in my wallet. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Dustin says the evening. Yeah, Dustin is not a morning person at all. <laughs> I know. Um, I think Dustin like sleeps through his alarm like most of the time. Wow. And you just see Dustin has the biggest cups of coffee like in the morning when we meet up to go sourcing. He's the biggest cup of coffee, and he has the most sugar and creamer I've ever seen that one man can consume at one time. So that is cheating, Victoria. You can't carry. It. That's like saying my backpack. And then I have like everything in your backpack, you know. So. All right, Jeff, let's get. All what is right, the next number question? sixteen. What is your favorite movie genre? My favorite movie genre, sci-fi. Yeah. Sci-fi. Yeah. What did you say? Comedy. Comedy. I like. I would that. say that would be my number two. No, number tied with action and. Action and comedy, that would be number two. But sci-fi is number one. 
I saw you more of a rom com type of guy. I know, right? That's my guilty pleasure. That's what you and Bert do on your off time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you watch Victoria's video, she answered the 19 questions. It says, Come on, Ray, I know you love a good alien romance movie. I don't know why she's I can't remember the question that you had answered, but she says she's really into alien romance. And I couldn't figure out if that was like movies or show or books. But I know that they do make Bigfoot romance novels. Do you know this? Bigfoot romance novels? No. Yeah, man. It's a lady that writes them. It's super weird. It's wow. like women falling in love with Bigfoot. And then like, you know, what well, romance novels basically. You know what I mean? Basically Beauty and the Beast, but Bigfoot. Yes. Which is weird. Huh. So, yeah, but Dustin says action slash adventure, of course. It, Dustin's a huge Fast and Furious fan, huh. so that's never that's not gonna that's not ending anytime soon. What's your favorite movie, Jeff? My favorite movie. I don't know if I have a favorite movie. Uh, yeah, I really don't know. That take a lot. What comes to your mind? Like, if you had to think, uh, super bad. <laughs> Superbad's great. It's yeah. great. It's a great one. Yeah. Or, um, I can't think of the other one. Another Seth Rogen movie. I can't think of it. Not Pineapple Express. Uh, That's a great one too. Or no, I'm thinking of the forty year old version. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Oh yeah, Steve Carell. Yeah. Every yeah. Judd Town movie, basically. Yeah, they're <laughs> great. I do like those movies. Yeah. Victoria says books, but I've never heard of a Bigfoot romance. That is weird. It's very weird. Hmm. I think she got pulled off of uh, Amazon, like her books, because they were like almost like pornographic. Yeah. Yeah. Bigfoot romance novels. <laughs> Bigfoot. You know what they say about big feet. <laughs> and he's got some the ears, Bert. The biggest foot. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, Dustin says, huge Fast and Furious fan, but Harry Potter is my number one before the Fast and Furious series. Okay. Dustin loves his Harry Potter. That yeah. one? Yeah. He loves his Harry Potter. Huh. All right. What's the next? We're almost through these questions, though, aren't we? Right. We got three more. Three more. All right. Let's get to it. Number 17. How long can you stay on, Jeff? Oh, we want to get through these uh, Black Friday. Another 20 minutes or so. Okay. Cool. 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 So, number 17. What's good in your life right now? <laughs> I mean everything, man. My family, my friends, this YouTube thing. Bert. You know? Bert. My wife's home. My wife. What'd she get? Laundry. All right. All right. Next question. Number 18. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? My wife's looking at me really weird right now. Because I have this Bert. <laughs> She says she's really concerned. Um, I would say, I don't know, a little bit of both. I can be really introverted. I can be really extroverted if I want to. I'm like a chameleon. I'm a Virgo, you know? <laughs> All right. Thanks. What would you say? Introverted? Uh, introvert, yeah. I really do get like big crowds. They exhaust me. I get yeah. too many people. I need a break. Got to go chill yeah. by myself for a little bit. And I get it. Some calm thoughts. I get it. You ready for the last one? Let's do it. What is your biggest accomplishment? Um, I would say ma being married for eight years. Yeah. I think that's a big one. Yeah, man. We made it past the threshold. Yeah. Which so, one, where's the threshold? I don't know. Some people get divorced like after two or three, something like that. Huh. Yeah. 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 So that's crazy. How long were y'all together before y'all got married? Five years, man. Wow. That's, that's what I'm awesome. saying. So I'm saying, man, like I know you've been to get a long time with your girl, so Yeah, we're going on five years now. It's one of those things, man. Like right. I mean, you've already put in the time. Yeah. Did you say one of your worst fears was losing time? Right. Exactly. You would have lost a lot of time. True. Yeah. Got a lot of invested in me. 
But Dustin has a great answer. He says, an introvert until a magic drink kicks in. Magic drink kicks in. But, you know, here's the thing with Dustin, though. If you get him talking to, like, certain people, he can talk, like, a lot. You might yeah. think that he's, like, real timid, like, on, on like, the lives and like, things like that. But when you get him talking, he talks a lot. Dustin, Dustin you like to talk. Yeah. Dustin says everything, my family, my wife, my little boy, I like that. It's a wonderful accomplishment. Yes, it is a wonderful accomplishment. So another thing that we wanted to do real quick, and that's why I had Jeff on, is that we wanted to go through the um, – that's all the questions, right, Jeff? Okay. Yeah, that was it, 19 questions. Okay, cool. Them. Now I guess I have to tag somebody, right? Three people. Three people. Um, can I tag Dustin even though he already did it? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know who else to tag. I'm not an official here. I'll take Dustin. I'll tag Martin and Christina. That's two people, right? So there you go. That's three. Uh huh? Martin, <laughs> Christina. Oh, come on. Martin, Christina, and Dustin. And Finn. And Finn. That's right. <laughs> I would tag Cajun, but he doesn't do a, a, a lot. Yeah. So, huh. and Duncan. What about Four Eyed Hustler? Yes. Okay. That's right. Paulo, Dustin, and Martin and Christina. Paulo, got to do your questions. I know he's not seeing this right now because he's uh, he doesn't work after dark on Fridays. He's uh, right. one of those seven day Advents or whatever you call it. Hmm. But Dustin yeah. says. Marriage been together since 08, married for three years. Wow. Since 2006. Three channels. You have three channels? Huh. Three channels. That's what she said. Oh, saying. you got to tag three channels. Three channels. Okay. Three channels. Did, has Josh already done his? Josh. Did you tag a lot of, a lot Josh? of Josh? Yeah. Yeah, he did his. I know what I'm going to do. Family flips. There you go. I just interviewed them. Um, Paulo with Four Eyed Hustler and Martin and Christina with Restore Gold. Right. Those are my three channels. They didn't get tagged already, did they? Restore Gold. Killing me, man. They got Not two channels now, though. Ah, there you go. <laughs> they ain't going to do it twice, but no, I mean. That's fine. We'll, uh, let you, we'll let you slide. So, guys, I wanted to go and um, do this Black Friday. Oh, let me see here. I'm trying to get a tab open. So Black Friday's coming up, as we all know, next Friday. And I wanted to see if, um, if there's any good deals, if it's going out Black Friday shopping is worth it or not. So Jeff and I were going to just go through some uh, some of the door busters real quick to see if it's actually worth going out and finding the crowds, maybe getting something for yourself, and maybe getting something to resell. So I'm going to share my screen right quick. Let me know if this works, uh, Jeff. All right. You see that? Yep. All right. So these are the Black Friday ads. You can go see them at the blackfriday.com. Got the popular ones. The Amazon has an ad. That's interesting. Walmart, Sam's Club, Lowe's, Best Buy, Target, and um, – yeah. Okay. So, is there any particular one you want to look at, uh, Jeff? Not really. I have never even heard of this website. The Black yeah, man. So, what they do is they take the ads and they just digitize them so people can look at them online. That's awesome. Before they even come out, you know, because you get them in like in the paper. Yeah. So let's look at the Walmart one right quick. Let's see, is there anything you're looking for uh, this Black Friday? I haven't thought about it one bit going out on yeah. Black. I know if you're looking for a TV, it looks like Walmart's got some TVs. The thing is, I know that the TV companies are now starting to make TVs just for Black Friday. So they take out a lot of the stuff in the TVs. Huh. But, um, I mean, this is a 65 4K Philips smart TV for 278 which is not bad. It's crazy. Not bad. Air, old AirPods here for 190 or 129 it's not bad. What do you think about that, Jeff? Say $15. Yeah, right? Let's see here. 
This is a good deal. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. This PlayStation 4 one terabyte bundle. What do you yeah. think about that, Jeff? Let's see if you can get in there and find one. <laughs> yeah. I know that um I got a lot of GameStop gift GameStop gift cards for my birthday. And um I have enough to at least put a pretty good dent on maybe a, something Black Friday. No. You know, maybe get some games or I don't have an Xbox One, so I'll make one take one of those. Doesn't look like there's anything worth buying there. Oh, did I, did that go away? Am I still here? No, nah, yeah, you're good. Okay, good. Okay. Um, I don't see anything that really stands out. What about you, Jeff? No, not really. Yeah, like um, I know these. I just got one of these for free for being a uh, a Spotify. Uh, nice. member. Yeah, nothing's really jumping out on me to save or even buy to resell. Do you go Black Friday shopping? Uh, we like to. Dustin and I usually like to go out there, pick up some games and some movies, you know. And uh, I know that um, it's getting – Black Friday is moving into Black Th and Thursdays, which I don't really like. Yeah. So that's not a bad deal right there. Oh, you say $5, $128 on the – yeah, I like that it lets you know, though. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's kind of dumb, right? Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, I'm checking in on the chat here. Get up to $700 in e-gift cards? Yeah, let's, let's look at that. With an activation and purchase. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let me read this. Let me read some of the chat here. So you have, okay. Oh, 2K TV. It's fine. <laughs> Switch games will be cheap. Oh, yeah. I know I do have a Switch, so I might only look at that. Cool website. I'll check it out tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Walmart ad, I swear, just saw a, had a 2K <laughs> TV, the one that was – was that the thing? Let me see. Yeah, we got to go back. We got to go back. TV. There it is. Where? That's or no, I'm, at, I'm at that was the page. Go up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what even is that? Why would you even put that? What is what is that? What's an own own that's that Walmart brand. That's a Walmart brand, right? In house? Uh I, don't I think know. it is. Or I think wow. that's another, that's like an app. Oh it's a, Let me see this. Yeah, I'm trying to find out too. You can buy this now, can't you? No, no that's I think, I think you're right. Work. Yeah. Wow. I wonder what is it, it comes in. Seven. Two. It's in full HD 1080p LED. It's a smart TV. Got that Roku. Yeah, that's weird. Got that Netflix, HBO Go. Good, good call, Dustin, on that. I didn't know that was a thing. Let's see. Okay, where were we? We'll just you look at the Walmart one because I think that might be the best deal. It sounds like the Popeye's chicken of TVs. <laughs> I'm not sure if you know, too, that Nintendo Switch system that will be on sale Black Friday is the older model with the smaller battery, so be careful with that. Actually, uh, that's the only – that's the version that I have is the one with the smaller battery. I got it for my birthday. My wife bought it for me for my birthday. Look at these fake fake uh, AirPods here. It's that brand again. The O N N. On. The on. Save nine eighty eight. You know, you know, some mom's gonna be, some kids gonna ask their mom if they can get the new AirPods, and they're oh, gonna God. think that those, the, those, you know, it's like these are the AirPods. <laughs> it's like no, they're not. They're the own, their own brand. <laughs> He got those at Walmart. Yeah. Okay. They had that crap on sale, nine eighty eight off. This is. I feel like this is too much. This iPhone six plus for one forty nine. 
Yeah. I feel like that's too much. Don't see anything really jumping out at me. Okay, here we go. Here we go with the games. Okay. So this is a pretty good deal. That it is. But this is the all digital edition. Huh. I know it doesn't have any place to use the game, so I don't know if you people are worried about that. But I, I really like this. This is a pretty good deal too. I think you save a hundred dollars and you get uh all three of these games digital downloads. God of War. I didn't know they started doing that. I know. God of oh. War, Horizon Zero Dawn, and one more, right? The Last of Us. Hmm. You play The Last of Us, Jeff? No, I haven't. It's pretty good. It's one of my favorite games. Ooh, that's too much. Three forty nine. What else does it come with? It says it comes with includes Gears of War one through five digital downloads. It's the Xbox One X, that's why. I think the yeah. X. But this is, I think this is the one I'm gonna go. If that, if they have this same deal at GameStop, I think I'm gonna go for this one. Because I got on that one. Yeah, because I don't know about this digital download. I would like to get the physical, the physical copies. Yeah, just in case. Well, I guess you can always, if you, if it's the same account, you can always just log in on a different console. Yeah, but I feel like you gotta have something tangible, like right. if you want to resell them, like in the future. True. You know, so thirty dollars for these Switch games, Mario Odyssey. That's a great game for thirty dollars. Uh, Zelda. Modern Warfare for thirty-eight dollars, the new one. That's not bad. You got these sports games for twenty-seven. This game needs to be free. Two K twenty. Have you seen all the glitches and stuff that it has? Oh wait, yeah, yeah. It needs to be. People don't ever need to pay for that game. It's terrible. Twenty-five dollars for these games. What's that? Like funny glitches, doing dumb. Well, I know that the the. the the company that developed this game went off to do their own thing, so it's like a whole new developer. Huh. And I think they had to start; they had to start from scratch, and it just looks terrible and it plays terrible. Wow. So, I think this is this is the uh, the Nintendo Switch that Chris was talking about. Yeah, it's not bad though. Mario Kart. You get Mario Kart and a Switch. That's not bad. I don't know if I've ever even played a Switch. Dude, it's Mario Kart's legit. Yeah. I don't see. I got the N64 Mario Kart. Ooh. Dude, my wife is so good at that game. I don't know <laughs> why. It's so weird. I think we meet in the live stream at some sometime. Yeah. Yeah. She's that good. She's good at that in Tetris. Is it DVDs? I'm gonna look at the GameStop one. Is she speed a speed Tetriser? Mm -hmm. Nah. I mean, I used to be able to beat. She used to beat me all the time. Then I used to be able to beat her most of the time, and now she beats me all the time again. So she found she found a way. Where is the GameStop? Let's see here. GameStop. GameStop. Here we go. This will be the last one that we see. Jeff. All right. Let's see. Um, free $25 gift card. Hmm, free game. When you buy a new Switch or Switch Lite. So $299. And you get the Mario Kart. And you get $25 gift card. So that would be a better deal if you get it for GameStop. It's Thursday and Friday only. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Let me. Uh, <laughs> It says, LOL, maybe it's manufactured by the same company who makes the 2K games. Uh, Chris, uh, I would rather have the physical game. Yeah, true. Yeah. 349 is like 500. Ooh, Canadian. Canadian. I don't, so do you get paid more? Or how does that work with the Canadian dollar versus the American dollar? I'm curious about that. 
Ouch, Chris. Double Dash is my favorite of the Mario Kart for the game. Yeah, that's my favorite, too. I don't know, but Mario Kart 8 is really good. Because I want a new Xbox so bad, I still have the day one launch console from 2013 with an external hard drive. It's like the digital version that has 149, but with a disc tray, has a mind of its own. Oh, God. Surprise <laughs> Virtual Reality is called Quest. Isn't that on sale? Oh, I don't know. Let's go huh. back to this. Door Busters, $38 for this. That's the same price. Uh, the Division, we found, we saw these at uh, Give Me Five this week. Wow. Brand new, but we didn't get them because there weren't any resale value on them. Yeah. Uh, buy two, get one free Funko Pops. That's pretty cool. Um, free $25 coupon with the purchase of a Glacier White PS4 Pro. $299. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Save 100 Do you get a gift card with that? No, that's the same price at Walmart. 50% off. Any games that really you catch you? Redemption for Xbox One was going yeah. on. You played that game? Uh, a little bit. It's I don't have to uh, <clears throat> play with my friends. Not bad. Nothing that really catches my eye here. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is really awesome. Too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like Assassin's Creed. There's the virtual reality right there. Huh. Save a hundred dollars. All PS VR heads a bundle, and they get a free twenty-five dollar coupon. Have you ever done the VR with the PlayStation? I, no, I haven't. Have you? Neither. No. No. This game just gets getting cheaper and cheaper. This UFC three. <laughs> Nine ninety-nine. Yeah, man, I keep seeing it cheap, cheaper and cheaper. McGregor screwing that all up. Yeah, Devil May Cry. Have you ever played those games? No. They're pretty good games. They're kind of like a hack and slash kind of game. Was, this is pretty good. Injustice 2 for $14.99. That's a pretty good game. Hmm. PlayStation Hits only $9.99. That's, uh, those are, that's a good deal right there. Brand yeah. new games. Grand Turismo. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Um, save up to 150 on a new Xbox One system. Oh, that's the same price at Walmart. Yeah. Okay, cool. I might go there and pick that up. And then they got the digital version as well. Get your, who's that? The unibrow guy. I forgot his name. <laughs> what is his name? Let's see. Go Sports. Go Sports. Um, there we go. That's a, I think that's a pretty good deal. If I was a parent and my kid wanted to switch, I think I would get that one. Yeah. I think Pokemon Shield and Sword is cheaper at Walmart right now. On regular, I think it's forty nine ninety nine. Okay, so I went to a Super Smash Brothers tournament at Walmart last Sunday, and it got my butt whooped. It was ridiculous, dude. At Walmart? Yes, they got this like, you know, how Walmart has like uh, like nail salon places. Right. Haircut places. So I think we used to have a haircut place there. They took that out, and now they have, like, an eSports thing. Huh. And so they can play, like, Fortnite and, like, a couple other ones. Right. Yeah, there used to be some place around here they did one for Madden. It was the eSports. Yeah. Oh, man, that's the one that I need to go to. Yeah. It's Oculus, nauseous, yeah. Old Driscoll. Old Driscoll. Hashtag Red Dead. So my husband and I like to play Oculus Quest. It's so much fun. Look at you, Victoria. Oh, no, Chris. I'll check your eyes up beforehand. Oh, yeah. Those do make me woozy. Oh, that's not it. Okay, here we go here. 50% 50, 50 off these games. The Witcher. How is that 50% off? Is it $19.99 for the PS4 and Xbox One? Okay. Oh... Let's see here. Civilizations. That's pretty cool. 40% off, 30% off. 30% off all board games. That's not too bad. I know some board games can hold their value. 
see anything that jumps out, Jeff? No, I didn't see any Minecraft. Yeah. No, I'm just Minecraft. <laughs> Here we go. Buy two, get one free on all pre-owned PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and 3DS games. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Buy two, get one free? Yeah. Because huh. you can get um, yeah, you can get some pretty good deals on that. Yeah. Look at this. Buy one, get one free on all pre-owned 360, PS3, DS, Wii, Wii U, and and uh, Vita games. Hmm. That might be the best deal right there. Yeah. Especially for reselling, because if you find, like, uh, I know that um, PS3, there's, like, really rare horror games. Yeah. And if you can find those and get one free, I mean, you can make your money back. So, I wonder if... You're looking up the rare ones? I was wondering if you could, like, filter eBay search, just put in, like, PS3 game and try to look at the highest price. Yeah. Stuff. Let's see what you got there. Jeff, and I look up highest highest value PS3 game. I bet they're going to be a lot of like collector's edition ones. Hmm. You know what is this? Somebody sold some Metal Gear Solid Collection sealed NES IBM Game Boy Color for $30. Oh, like Whoa. Yeah. It's a bunch of it's a it's a big lot of games. I'm not sure what all that is. That's all I'm getting once a PS3. I'm trying to see if there's a price price chart. Here we go. There's a um, The Last of Us. Is it the collectors? Like I know they had a big like post pandem pandemic edition. I can't read for crap, but <laughs> statue sealed. Yeah, nine hundred ninety nine dollars. The Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim for PlayStation Three two thousand eleven pre owned nine hundred ninety nine dollars. What's up with that? There ain't no way. There's something wrong with that. I bet it comes with a, a collector's, like a collector's edition or something like that. eBay. Let me see. I think Marvel versus Gapcom is a is a Marvel versus Gapcom two. I can't spell right now. Apparently this, yeah, the Last of Us post-pandemic edition, PS3, with statue. If you if you find that, you're sitting on almost a grand. Here we go. And I think you can um, check the stores and see where they are, you know, like on the GameStop's website. Right. Okay, I'm going to share a different screen. Yeah, and the rest all I'm finding right now is just lots. Okay, let's see here. Share screen. Chrome tab. Are you still there? You see this? Yeah, I'm here. So, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is $79 pre-owned for the PS3. Hmm. So this is a GameStop exclusive. So yeah. Let me see if GameStop has it. Like, if you can buy those, like if they had two copies, you can get one for free. Yeah, no kidding. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. For right now, I'm uh, searching GameStop. Well, um, 
Let me share a different screen here. Guess I could just share. Oh, oh, oh. Jeff, I appreciate you being on, man. No problem. I appreciate you having me on, man. Sorry, this, this, is, this will be the last thing we do here. So I got Marvel versus Capcom 2 pulled up. I don't this see. Is on yeah, this is on GameStop. Um, I don't see any for the PS4. Look at this. Pre owned for the PS2, no box to sell for $54 on GameStop. Wow. So they clearly know what they have. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. If you can ever, this is a good bolo right here. Is this uh, Death, Death Jam 5 for New York? Have you ever played that game? I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I've played that. Yeah. Where the rappers is like a wrestling game with the rappers? It's yeah. Like a fighting game? It's awesome. So it's $64 pre owned. So if you ever find that anywhere, that would be a good good place. Another one on here was a Dark Souls Steel Edition or something. It sold mm -hmm. for like $250. Yeah, I imagine if you find any of the special edition ones and you could get them by one, get one free or whatever. Yeah. Probably, I don't know. It's really wasn't a bad idea, though, looking up just PS3 games. No, because, I mean... And going through because it's buy one get one free on the ps3 games P, uh wii games which like if mark the mario games uh wii u and then ps or uh, uh vita games and ds games and some vita games are rare because they don't you know not a lot of people play the vita games right so What's some of the rare games you've come across that sold for big money? Not a lot, man. Not, not. I know um, Dustin found. What did you find this this week at Goodwill? He found the not the rare NCAA one, but the one the year before that. Hmm. It's still selling for pretty good money. Um, but not really. Not a lot of them, man. I remember I found a uh, Pokemon game for uh, Game Boy Advance. Uh, I think it was the red one. And yeah, it sold for like 40 bucks or something. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. You got to be careful with those because now they start making counterfeit ones. Right. Yeah. You know? So you can get some really, some really weird ones on Etsy. Yeah. Some Pokemon games where they take the, uh, they, t they, you know, a hacker will hack it. And then make their own game, and then put it on a what, a cartridge. But they're really fun. Like one of them is like a zombie version, huh. where all the all the Pokemon are like zombie versions. So it's pretty pretty cool. Dustin said about to hit up the GameStop and trade the leftover games we got from that huge video game haul and buy that Xbox. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, Mac reseller king says, "Hey, it's Bert. I miss you, Bert. That's who had Bert before I did." Oh no, like, kidding. My common thing is like frozen up here. Uh, oh, here we go. It's like, yeah, La Vida flopped. Uh, Kokido okay. is a very good game. And look out for the PS2. Okay. It came up in the searches a second ago. Did it? Kuno? Yeah, it had a, it was like two more words or, or something. Ki, Ku, Kuno, or something like that. I saw it. It looked like maybe a Japanese game or something. I'm curious to see. Like Nintendo. I think that's what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Super Smash Brothers for the Wii. Let's see here. You know they still are releasing Wii games, brand new Wii games. Hmm. The uh, what's that dancing game? Just Dance. Oh yeah. They released a new one for the Nintendo Wii. Huh. And it, it, did, it sold better than the one for the regular, the, the new consoles. The Switch? The or Switch, the, the Xbox Wii U? One, the, like all of them. Oh, I get what you're saying, right. Yeah. Okay. Wow, no kidding. So people are still buying, and then still, and then they're still buying uh, Mario, Mario Wii, whatever the Mario, Mario Kart for the Wii. They're still buying that new somehow. They did a, 
like a report on it the other day. I saw it on one of the. Uh, so basically, if you come across any Wii's to resell, get Just Dance games to go with it mm -hmm. too. I know Dustin and I. We used to go to this place like a scratch a dent store. And I yeah. think all it is is they're buying those pallets and then they put them up on you know re like retail store. It's right. called Bargain Hunt, and uh, we used to find all kinds of games like that there, and they used to be really cheap, like five dollars, seven dollars a piece. We used to be able to flip them for like over twenty dollars, or you know, like yeah. twenty, thirty dollars, which would be great profit. And we didn't have to go far because it's like literally like right down the street. But now they, I think they've caught on, so everything there is like hiked up in price. Right. And then before, the longer that something, the the tag on everything had a date, and then the longer something sit, the more it was dis discounted. So they had like a sheet on the wall that said if this was. Uh, you know, like three months old and it's still on the shelf, it's like 90% off or something like right. that, you know? So, let's, uh, does it, uh, in Civil 13 Xbox 360 game goes for 20 to 25 bucks. That's mm -hmm. what he found. But those for $500 with the case, yikes. I think he's talking yeah. about the Kuno game. Right. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, I don't know. If you can find some good game, I think, um, the buy one get one free on the GameStop would probably be the best. I feel like that might be the best deal. Yeah. Out there, if you can get some good games. <laughs> yeah, they had the buy one get one free and the buy two get one free. Yeah, for the for the, for the newer consoles, which right. is pretty good. And then for that um, the Xbox console. I mean, at least if you know people like us that like games, you could go in there and buy some for yourself and then yeah. get the flip. For sure. No cost. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. So it's like you can get like uh, like the buy two, get one free. You can get like a, like a Mario Odyssey, like a Zelda game, and then just get like another game that has the most resale value. Right. You know? It's, and yeah. Yeah. Buy some you know? You can buy some to resell. Take yeah. Care. That's a pretty good idea. I like that idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Victoria says, uh, "What's the name of the website again?" I just googled like Black Friday ads. It was the Black Friday. .com. Yeah, yeah, the Black. <laughs> yeah, the Black Friday dot com. The All right, Black the Black Friday dot com. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. So uh, I guess that's it. We're coming. We're approaching on two hours. I didn't know I was going to be right? on for this long. So, <laughs> so um, I know. So Jeff, thank you so much for uh, no jumping problem. on the channel. Thank you so much for tagging me on the 19 questions. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for Mac for sending Bert and Martin Christina. Thanks for Dustin for being on, on here. Thanks for everyone that's stuck with us. Appreciate you guys. Tomorrow is Saturday. You know what they say? Saturday is for the boys. Heard about that? No. It's like a thing now. Yeah, Saturday yeah. for the boys. For the boys. So Dustin and I are going to be going sourcing. Gonna be filming some videos. My wife is off tomorrow, so we're gonna probably catch dinner and then um, watch some college football. What do you got planned for tomorrow, Jeff? Huh? I'm not too sure. Actually, gonna be doing some uh, testing on a few things, and I'm probably gonna go see my uh, parents, see what they got going on. That's I don't good. think there's any yard sales. It's raining over here. Yeah. Now, so that sucks. But um, just the use. I don't know. I kind of got a lot done this week, so I'm uh. I need to find, and without the yard sales, I'll probably go hit up some thrift stores or something. But gotta gotta get the uh, schedule filled back up <laughs> for sure, for sure. See you, fam. Thrifty says later, Chris. Bye, Ray. Bye, Jeff. Hold the North Louisiana down. He said, hold it down. If they right. had more Popeyes chickens, I'd be doing better. But I know. So. Thanks, Jeff. Once again, I appreciate you jumping I appreciate on. Appreciate it. Thanks, so, y'all. Anytime you want to come on, man, just let us know. We'll be glad to have you. It's always better when you have another person. You know what I mean? Right. It's not as awkward. Yeah, it was a cool little tag team on the 19 questions. We did good. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. I'll holler at you. Thank you, guys. Everybody on the uh, on the stream. Thank you for sticking with us. As always, take care. We love y'all. God bless, and we'll catch you guys. On the flip side, <laughs> and you say, what do you say, Jeff? Keep flipping. Keep flipping. See y'all. Later. <laughs>